everyone. Welcome to uh, day three of our advent calendar. Uh, my name's Linda and um, the channel is Lilybug's Library. So I have our advent calendar here. And if you remember last time, eh, not so good. So, <laughs> so we're going to try today and we'll see how it goes. Uh, so we've got the little green leaf here today. So I'm going to open this one up. I always press in instead of out. Ah. There we go. Okay. So we've got it here. All right. So let's see what we've got. This one is called Manatee. So hang on. I got to kind of open it up here so I can see what it says. So it says Manatee, white tea, hibiscus, mango, orange, elderberry, rose hip, butterfly pea flower, pineapple, cranberry, blueberry, and black currant. That's a lot of stuff in a tea. So let me open it up here and hopefully it'll uh, give us some of those flavors that it's promising. Let's see if I can take a little sniff. Hmm, can't really smell much. Okay, so I'm going to put it in my little tea ball. I feel like there maybe is more in this one. It seems, seems like there's a little bit more. So I'm going to close it up. All right, and we've got our hot water here. So we're going to tuck it in there, and while we chat, it can do its thing. All right. So today we're going to talk about books that you'd like to see become movies or TV shows. So I had to give this one some thought because uh, there's a, you know, any book you like, you know, you kind of think, oh, that would make a good TV show. But there's some, I think, more than others. Um, so I was thinking of the James Patterson books. I think a lot of those would make good movies and I started thinking like I think some of them have been movies so I went back and kind of looked and sure enough there was some of his I feel like they're earlier ones but there was like an Alex Cross movie there was um, uh, Long Came a Spider, Kiss the Girls those are all based on um, James Patterson books and and Tom Clancy I mean he's got I don't know a ton of um, movies that have come from his his books so some of them certainly do translate well now one of the ones I was thinking and I think because I love it so much um, is the Christmas tree farm series so I could see that being a, a really good hmm, I don't know if it would be I mean it could be a series because I mean it's Christmas there all the time but I'm not sure how well that would work as a series, but certainly as a movie. Um, so I was thinking about who would play the parts. So let me know in the comments if you agree with my suggestions or if you can think of someone better. So I was thinking of who would play Holly White. Um, so I thought of Katie Holmes, who used to be um, uh, married to Tom Cruise, and before that she was in like, um, oh, not Degrassi, what's the other one? Um, Dawson's Creek. Um, and a lot of shows like that, but I, I don't know if she's young enough to play Holly. Um, I mean, she looks very young or she did the last time I saw a picture of her. Um, but I'm not sure. I think Holly's supposed to maybe be in her thirties, but I'm not positive. Uh, but I was thinking maybe Margot Robbie, um, the one who was in, I believe the Barbie movie, she might be good. Um, I was thinking for, um, the boyfriend, um, Sheriff Evans, or is his first name Evan? I am so bad with names these days. Anyway, um, I think uh, Chris Evans would be good for um, for the police officer um, and her love interest. So, uh, and he's the one that played Captain America. Um, so I think he'd be good for that. Now, Cookie, I was kind of back and forth as who to, would be a good Cookie. But the only thing I could think of was Melissa McCarthy and how she played Suki, Suki I think was her name, in Gilmore Girls, and she was so good at that. So I feel like Cookie is kind of a similar sort of character, so I think she'd be really good at that. Um, Caroline, uh, I chose uh, Toya Turner, uh, Libby, Drew Barrymore, um, and then Mom and Dad, that's a hard one, right? I was thinking maybe like Sally Fields and Tom Hanks. I don't know. But anyway, those are some of my ideas. Um, and then the Noodle Shop Mystery, I had, um, uh, you know, I thought that was another one that would probably be a good, at least a good movie, maybe a good series. 
Um, and I was thinking uh, Lana Lee could be um, uh, Gemma Chan, who was in Crazy Rich Asians. Um, mother, uh, her mother could be Michelle Yao, uh, who has been in like the Star Trek um, series, as well as uh, everything, everywhere, all the time. Um, and I thought she was really good in that, and she's always really good. So I thought she would make a great, uh, a great mom. Uh, father, I was thinking of uh, Paul uh, Sun Young Lee, who was in Kim's Convenience. Um, I think he'd be about the right age. Um, and then, you know, there's like the Mahjong ladies, and there was uh, Detective Adam Trudeau, and then her roommate. Like, there's lots of different uh, people who would be in that. So I think that would, I think that would be really good. And I also think it would really, oh, this is purple. I also think it would be really um, highlight a lot of uh, Asian actors and actresses, which I think would be nice. Okay, so I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Ooh, I don't want to spill it. Ah, spill it all over myself, which I just did because that was hot. But um, it, it looks very purple, which makes sense if it's got blueberry in it, I guess. Um, so let me take a little taste here. Mm, yeah, I can definitely taste that blueberry coming through. Um, the other things, not quite as much, but um, uh, blueberry, I guess, is maybe a stronger flavor. So, yeah, my pants are all wet. Okay, so the next one I was thinking of um, was the Louise Penny books. So I thought those would be really good. Um, I mean, they're really good mysteries and kind of um, not cozy, but, <laughs> but good mysteries. And I think they'd make for good movies or, or good series. Um, I don't know who would play the inspector, though. Chief Inspector Armand Gamache. Um, yeah, I don't know. I couldn't really um, think of anyone in my head that I thought would be really good at it. Um, but I'm sure there's a ton of actors out there that could do it. Um, the other one was Baker Street Mysteries. And that's the one with uh, Maddie, Maddie Montgomery. Oh, my God. With Maddie Montgomery. And um, her Aunt Octavia, who has passed away, and then it would have uh, Aunt Octavia's best friend and some of the other characters. So I was thinking, um, trying to think who would be good at some of these, and I think Maddie Montgomery, I was thinking uh, Nicki Minaj. Um, I don't know how much acting she's done, but I thought she'd be good at it. She was in one called The Other Woman, so, you know, I know she does some acting. Um, Aunt Octavia, I thought uh, Queen Latifah would be good as Aunt Octavia because I mean you're still gonna see her somewhat, uh, <coughs> excuse me, somewhat in it whether it's her ghost or uh, her on a tape or or what it is. All right, I'm gonna move my tea ball. Uh, and then Hannah, I thought um, Octavia Spencer from Hidden Figures would make a, a good Hannah. Um, and then Leroy. Uh, that was harder because I can't really get a sense of Leroy's age, but I was thinking maybe Jaden Smith. Um, he was in The Karate Kid. Um, and then The Admiral. Uh, there's so many people who could play The Admiral because they're all kind of around the right age. But I was thinking uh, Lawrence Fishburne from The Matrix or Danny Glover. I thought both of them would make good admirals. Um, so, yeah, I think that would be really good. And then having Baby, if you know, a big mastiff in the <laughs> in the show I think would be as excellent. So those are some of the ones that I thought of. Um, I also thought of the Meg Lanslow series. I thought those would be um, good to bake into movies or, or a series. Um, and then um, the Molly the Maid um, from, uh, they had the mystery guest and uh, the first one I think was just called The Maid. And um, it all takes place in the Regency Grand Hotel. So Molly has been solving mysteries and things, so I think she would be a, a great main character. And then, um, you know, there's Detective Stark and all these other people, you know, that are that run things in the hotel. And so that would make a great series because, you know, every week it could be a, a different guest that's causing a problem or something. So anyway, I thought those would be pretty neat. So that's, uh, that's my ideas for um, books that could be movies or TV shows. So again, let me know. I'd love to hear what you think, whether you think... Uh, some of your favorite books could could make a great movie and and who would play them you know so if you have any ideas on that too or you think uh, some of the ones i suggested wouldn't quite work and you have better ideas i'd love to hear them so last uh, taste of the tea yeah i kind of like this one um probably about a three out of five 
I mean, it's maybe not my favorite. I think so far the day one was the one I've liked the best, but this is not bad. It's, uh, you know, got a nice fruity flavor to it and, and um, you know, nice and soothing. So I like it. I think I will go finish it and uh, uh, take a look at the books that I've been reading and uh, I'll catch up on those soon. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.